Hi, everyone. Welcome to the story behind the story. I'm your hostess, Dr. Adrienne McKeon, and today we are speaking with author Jessica Goldmans Stokes. Welcome, Jessica. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about your book. Who did you write this book for? So initially, I started writing really as a tribute to my mom and myself and my dad um, as we were navigating our journey with Alzheimer's and my mom, I started writing, which was very healing. And then as I continued to write, I realized that uh, our story really is, can be applicable to really anyone going through a journey with losing someone. So specifically Alzheimer's and dementia, um, but any sort of illness or disease that's long, that takes a long time, um, or goes over years, uh, this book certainly speaks to you. Tell us about the title, Seeking Clarity in the Labyrinth. How does the labyrinth tie into this for you? So my mom and my aunt, uh, who also during our 13 year journey with my mom's um, Alz Alzheimer's um, diagnosis also passed with Alzheimer's. Um, both of them were very interested in the labyrinth as a um, tool of walking and growth. And they actually built one. My aunt had built many, but they built one in my parents' backyard. And I used that, um, well, when I walked it many, many times with my mom. Um, but then through the illness, I certainly started to use it as a guidepost and space that really was healing for me. Beautiful. So what is your hope for the people who read this book? What, what would you like to offer to them? So one of the things that happens with Alzheimer's is we feel like we're losing our person time and time again. Yeah. And one of the um, wonderful things that happened for us, we certainly felt like we lost my mom time and time again. However, each time or as I was writing and as I was navigating our own journey, there was a way in which we also found her and held on to her and so still continued to see her for who she was as a person her whole entire life. So my hope for the person reading the book is that it gives you a sense or realization that you can find those moments of hope and those moments of uh, treasure um, in your navigation. It's not an easy disease. It's very difficult. It's it sucks <laughs> to be yeah. very honest. Yeah. Um, and it, the book is definitely does not, I talk about the stuff sucking too. Yeah, for sure. Um, but it's, but there's ways to, it's not glorified and it's not sugarcoated, but there are ways to still find and see your person. And I think it's really important for us as we, um, it, to help our people as they're navigating this just difficult, tragic disease to still have dig dignity and to still have a sense of um, honor. And it is our responsibility as their caregivers to find that for them. Yeah, it's beautiful. So what did you personally have to overcome in order for this book to be born? Sure. So 13 years is a long time. <laughs> um, <laughs> when my mom was diagnosed, I was in my late thirties and I was, um, at first I was so mad. I got really angry that we were dealing and I, I kind of was angry at her. Like I was mad. Like she was, I was, she was, I felt like she was leaving me and, and, um, it, it, it was a very, um, yeah, I was angry, lonely place, I guess. Yeah. Um, so the magic or the, the kind of impetus, I found some letters that my mom had written to her mom in a box in our garage. And I was cleaning out their garage and I was so struck by finding her voice and hearing her voice in the letters. And it 
really was sort of the catalyst for me to really need to figure out a way how I was going to honor her and find her and not lose her that I found in the words in a letter and uh, really started my journey of figuring out how to put this story to paper um, and find a way through and really wrote my way through the second half of our journey and um, and a lot of tears as I was writing, a lot of, um, of uh of uh, reliving and re re feeling some of those things. And also, um, a lot of discovery, discovery of who and honor for her. Yeah. Yeah. That was a really special part of the book. I remember that when, when you find those letters, it's also a great reminder for those of us who are writers that we're giving a gift to our people too, that they will have this after we are no longer able to be that same person or 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 have this same personality that they they will still have that part of us that will live on. Absolutely. Uh one of my sort of pushes to really make it take it from book or writing stories to a physical book is the desire and the need and want for my dad to hold physically hold the book and to to see and know our story or how we can hopefully our story will help others my brother teases me too that when we forget about mom or we forget about or we can't remember things as well we have a legacy through through the story that we've created as it's really is my entire family story not just mine absolutely so what advice would you have to someone who is dealing with a person in their life who has alzheimer's uh, be patient. Mm. <laughs> Don't forget to be in the moment. Um, it's going to be frustrating. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, don't expect your person to understand or want it's any, Thing that you may have expected or you want or you've seen in a movie or you see in my book it may <laughs> be different yeah. uh, unfortunately this is one that it could go a million different ways and be true to yourself um be honest with yourself um find some things that ground you which is perhaps a life lesson for anyone at any stage going through anything. Um, and don't forget to stop. And the cliche stop and smell the roses is certainly true that stop and enjoy and be present. No, it's going to change. It will change. Um, yeah. But you have the moment you have right now. How can people watching this right now reach out to you? How can they connect with you? Sure. So <clears throat> I have a website, um, jessicastokesauthor.com, which has uh, all information of when, which events that I'll be speaking to or at or with, as well as um, different information about uh, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, uh, labyrinths, um, and th so that's probably the best way. I'm certainly very active on Facebook and Instagram, um, less so on some of the other platforms, but we're working on that. So. All right. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you.